posting on this app but i think about it every day i'll be on youtube every day i'll be like dang i need to post a video i need to post a video i need to post a video and i just never do it and that's just because like y'all i be at work like when i get off work i don't be thinking about no youtube making no youtube video bro i'll be tired i'll be ready to go to bed i cook take a shower and get to bed phone on do not disturb like i'll be tired but really um i've been wanting to make a video because i feel like i really need to update y'all on how my business been going i have some orders to pack and i want to show y'all um some new stuff so that's what this video is going to be about that's what we're going to do um but i'm not gonna waste some time i want to just you know hop right into it because i don't like my videos to be too long and i know y'all click this video for a reason so let's get into it okay okay so um first let's talk in my last video i was talking about my experience with writing ads so i have been one of those people who have been running conversion ads since you know we found out that ads existed okay and if you've ran conversion ads before especially on facebook like you know conversion ads cost a lot of money like you have the potential to lose a lot of money running conversion ads right so my last video i mentioned that i had came across um a youtuber named jan Charte. She owns a boutique. I think it's called Brazen Boutique or something like that. She mentioned running traffic ads. Um, so I gave traffic ads a try um, because what traffic ads do. So what, if you don't know, conversion ads um, cost more because they're meant to go find people who are more willing to buy whatever it is that you're running an ad on, right? So a traffic ad does exactly what it says. It's a traffic ad. It's meant to bring people to your website. So it costs less because Facebook doesn't have to work harder. It doesn't have to work as hard to find, you know, people who are willing to come to your website. It has to work harder to find people who are more willing to buy, right? But what I found is with the traffic ads is that I'm getting, my product is being pushed out to a lot of people, a lot more people. It's reaching a lot more people. Those people are coming to my website. And even though the traffic ad is meant to bring traffic to my website, it has been converting and I have been getting sales. So personally for me right now, traffic ads has been what has been working for me, right? Um, now, I want to say this. When it comes to running ads, y'all, um, what I have found so far is that my customers like certain products. I have ran traffic ads using as a carousel ad now if you don't know what a carousel ad is a carousel ad is when you have multiple pictures in your ad right um and i would put up my four you know most popular um items in my carousel ads or like the items that i um am trying to sell or like the items that i feel like are going to sell well right and at the beginning of the year um if any of you have been to my website i think i actually still have this product up. i'm gonna put a picture like up right here right so i had this um style come out her name was dixie um i brought that style out and i believe i started off in black black was cool it was selling blah blah i had somebody comment and say hey you should get these in pink and i was like you know what i had been kind of staying away from like bright colors and stuff in my business because i was afraid they weren't gonna sell i feel like people really like the blacks the whites the nudes so pink never crossed my mind but my vendor had pink so i was like you know what let me get pink let me try that out let me get that pink went crazy let me tell y'all majority of my sales from january to march was that shoe specifically that color right so january 1st through january 31st um i started running my traffic ads right one of the products in my carousel ad was that Dixie Hill in pink, right? So January 1st to January 31st, I had a net, I had net sales, actually my gross pay. My gross pay was $1,189 for that month, right? Now, that sound like a lot of money, y'all, but it's really not. Like, I honestly didn't get any, like, personal profit off of any of that. Like, back-end expenses is a lot, so 
just keep that in mind but yes i made one thousand one hundred eighty nine dollars that month right so i was like okay people are really liking this dixie hill i'm gonna restock i'm gonna keep going because people are coming to my website they're buying that hill every once in a while they buy something else right february i think i restocked this shoe y'all literally like four or five times i'm not even kidding february same thing i'm still running the traffic ad with dixie hill in there in my carousel 18.97 for that month right so i'm like okay cool like stuff is finally you know picking up because if y'all don't um no i think i said in my last video my business was close was basically like closed down i'm putting quotes because i never actually closed my business but i kind of stopped tending to it because um for from october 2020 to october 2021 i was in the process of building my house and buying my house so i had no money that i could dedicate to black diamond at that time so um, I had, after I moved into the house, I had reopened Black Diamond, um, I think December, uh, November or December is when I like reopened really and, you know, started getting things together. Right. So February, I make almost $2,000. Right. So I'm like, okay, March, my goal is $2,000. Let's get it. Let's go. Right. I make it. I make it. Not only do I surpass $2,000, I make three. $3,000 in gross profit, right? Like I said, y'all, it sounds like a lot of money, but when it comes to shipping, <laughs> shipping, back-end expenses, paying off, um, you know, like my credit card that I used to get my profit, you know, all that, like, all that stuff, I really didn't have that much profit left over, uh, afterwards. But at this point, this is the most money I've ever made in a month off of my business. So I'm like, okay. Now, at this point, when it comes to shoes and when it comes to trends, y'all, y'all have to understand that they come and go. You have to keep up with trends because once that first trend is done, if you have nothing else, your sales are going to show. That's basically what happened to me, right? So at the end of March, I realized we're coming into April. I got to find something else. Dixie Hill is selling out, going crazy for the last three months. But the thing about my, you know, vendors, these shoe vendors is... They make a shoe, they sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it, and then it's done. It might come back later on, months later or next year or something like that. But once they're done with a trend, they're moving on to something else, right? So at that point, I had no more Dixie Hill. She was done and gone. It was time for me to find something else, right? So I'm like, what can I find? What can I find? My goal for April was actually $3,500, right? Let me tell y'all how April went, okay? April was extremely disappointing, okay? I, I could have cried in April. Y'all want to know how much money I made? I made $639, okay? $639 after just coming off of a $3,000 month. Do y'all know? Baby, I couldn't sleep that night. I was so mad. <laughs> so mad. So let's move on to May, right? May and I think in April I had April I had a lot of stuff going on. I'm not even gonna lie. I couldn't even focus really on Black Diamond. Anyway, I just had a lot of personal stuff going on, um, and it was just I cared, but not really. So let's move on to May, right? So if this thing would click, why are you doing that? Okay, May. May was another disappointing month, right? $644 for the month of May. Now, this is when I, Dixie Hill is done. I've, I've got a few blacks left, a few golds left. It's really not much. I'm trying to figure out what's my next thing, right? June, I think June, let me see. I think May or June is when I dropped my Monica Hill, which I'm, I'm going to show you all, all this stuff um and i did get a few sales off of that so june was better um june i made thirteen hundred dollars um for that month and for me that was good i had just came off of two crazy crazy short months i was glad to see thirteen hundred dollars in a month okay um last month is when i dropped my new biggest thing right now right so i'm gonna show y'all um once we start packing orders because y'all are gonna see I got six orders to back today. All six of them is the same shoe. <laughs> um, but I dropped this heel. I'm going to put a picture of it right here, right? Her name is Georgia. She's a zebra heel. I, as soon as I seen this heel, y'all, I knew, I just knew it was going to sell, right? 
I have been seeing it all over social media. I have been seeing people going crazy over the shoe. So my vendor had the shoe. I bought the shoe immediately, right? So $1,300, majority of my sales were that zebra heel that I'm going to show y'all, right? So far this month, month to date, it's seven days in, I think. I am at $406 right now. Today is July. Um, I said June. Yeah. So this month is July 7th. Um, I've made $406. Every bit of that money came from the same shoe. So um, running my traffic ad has bought so much traffic to my website. I think I'm getting about between 250 and 300 um, visitors a day. Now, I do have days where I don't get no sales. I have days where I get one sale. I get days where I get two, three, four sales. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it really just depends. For me, right now, with the way things are going and, you know, me feeling like I'm, you know, kind of just starting to get into the groove of things and, like, learning stuff, I just want one sale a day. I get one sale a day, I'm happy, okay? Because I'm running in my traffic ad for $20 a day, right? So, for me right now, my goal is to make more than what I'm spending a day on my ads, because in April and May, I got behind because I was still running those traffic ads, right? I still had Dixie, that pink hill in that traffic ad, but people were coming to my website and realizing it was out of stock and they were leaving, right? What I was trying to do was generate traffic to my website. They would come and see Dixie Hill was sold out and go find something else, right? But if they don't like what you have at the time or they don't want what you have at the time, they're not going to buy it, right? They're going to leave. Um, and I had people DMing me about when I'm going to restock, all this other stuff, blah, 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 right? So um, learning that kind of taught me um, to keep up with trends. Pay attention. If you sell clothes, I know you're probably following the big, you know, the big clothing um, boutiques on Instagram. Pay attention to the clothing items that you see being sold on different um, boutiques. That's how I do with my shoes. That's how I know when something is popular is when I see different shoe boutiques all have that same shoe, you know? And that is an indication to me that this is a popular shoe. This is something that's probably selling well right now. And those are the type of things that I go after. Granted, like when I um, try to um, pick out things for my boutique, especially because I don't have a lot of money to spend um, on my boutique, I always try to get things that I feel like are going to sell. And sometimes I'm right and sometimes I'm wrong, but paying attention to trends is what I feel like has made me successful the first six months of this year. Because last year I wasn't doing that. Last year I was kind of letting my spending, my budget limit me. And I would buy, I was buying things that, you know, really wasn't that great, really wasn't that cute, wasn't that unique. Like my goal for my boutique is to give y'all things that you can't just go and find somewhere else. I don't want to sell things that you can just go to Shein and find. I don't want to find things that you can just go in Walmart and Target and, you know, like go to these other places and find. Like, I want to sell y'all stuff that you feel like you can only get from shopping with me, right? So that's how I've been operating. So let's get into it. Let me show y'all a few of the new items that I have added to my website since the last time I seen y'all. And then we'll pack some orders and we'll talk some more, okay? Be right back. All right. Let me show y'all my best seller right now so y'all can see why she the best seller. Do you hear me? This is the shoe that has my business going up right now. Before was the my Dixie Hill. This is the, the new shoe that has just got everybody going crazy. It's a mule style heel platform, so it's super comfortable platform heels i will say it to the end of time are the superior heel okay when you want height and you want comfort platform heel every single time thank me later okay because one thing about me my heels is always high i keep my heels extremely high baby but i like a platform because i be out but yeah this is georgia I tried pre-ordering for the first time and I did get some pre-orders. So that's what we're packing today. Um, but yeah, that's Georgia. And if you're watching this video, go get it. They get ready to sell out. Now, this next style of shoe is the shoe that I bought to replace Dixie, basically. Um, 
Her name is Camille and I cannot wait to wear these out. I'm gonna put pictures of like all the shoes and what they look like on our feet, like right here. So this is a tie up heel. It's another platform heel. Oh, maybe I should like take a paper off of here so you can actually see it. Let's get into the details. So it has these cute little buckles right here. It's a tie up heel and it's a platform. I've tried them on, walked around my house. They're super comfortable. So these are available in pink. And they are also available in, um, I cannot, describe the color because the color is not yellow it's like a yellow green so i would say maybe like lime yellow is what it is it's not a highlighter color though like it's a very subtle like yellow green color but it is cute like pink is my favorite color but that that one is cute okay i'm gonna put a picture so y'all can see it because i don't want to open up all these shoes um But yeah, honestly, I expect that, that style to be selling just as well as Georgia right now, but it's not. I'm going to keep it 100. Now, this next one is another tie pill and it's another platform. And it, when I tell you that it is comfortable, like when I tell you that this is going to be one of the most comfortable heels that you have in your closet, I'm not even kidding. Like, I didn't even have to think <laughs> hard when walking in these heels. So if you're somebody who can't walk in heels, um... Part, these are perfect like it's another platform heels another tile heel i put a picture of what it looks like on your feet but this one is called evie it's also available in nude but yeah tie up heel this is this platform like y'all i feel like i'm walking on air like these are so comfortable like i'm not even kidding i wouldn't even i'm not even going to lie to y'all every time a shoe comes in the first thing i do is put the shoe on my foot and walk around the house like, that's the first thing I do. So, I'm telling you, if I tell y'all that something is comfortable, I'm not kidding. Like, it is not a joke. And then... Monica, which has been... Let's see. Monica, I believe I released these in June or may one of them um i'm going to show y'all the green ones because that's the ones that people like the most right now so it's another tie up heel this one has a skinnier heel though but i have wore these out and for this to be a skinny heel with no platform i actually got a few hours of wear out of these before my feet started hurting um these are also available in black and purple um but i really like this green green is not my favorite color pink is but this green does something to me and it has like a little um, a ankle chain that comes on it, basically. Um, and I love that detail. So, yeah, these have been going crazy. The girls love the green. Um, I probably say the green and the black is the ones that sell the most. I actually thought purple would be the color that sold the most, and it's not. Um, I have more purple than anything. But, yeah. Um, those are the, what did I say? One, two, four new heel styles that i've added to the website since the last time i've seen y'all um i don't think i've added any new sandals but um shockingly i don't really get that many sales on my sandals and i'm really shocked about that like i don't know if it's just because people don't really care for sandals or if the sandals i have on my website is ugly or something like i'm kind of feeling some type of way about that honestly but yeah if you're watching this go check out my website find your size make sure you use code youtube to get 20 percent off of your first order i mean that's your first order your order in general okay you heard it from me go do that but yeah now what we're gonna do is i want to go ahead i'm gonna pack these people's orders because i don't know what time it is it's 4 47 at five o'clock i'm supposed to be going out to eat with my friend so i honestly don't know how far i'm gonna get in 13 minutes but we're gonna try our best okay let's go okay so here we are i have my handy dandy rollo printer and honestly y'all this is like the one of the best investments i have made like i thought for the longest i didn't need no rollo printer i don't get enough orders but y'all not having to buy ink has been phenomenal for me 
that's what we're gonna do we're gonna print out the packing slips that's the first thing that i always do when i'm packing my orders Are you not hooked up? Oh, you're not hooked up, that's why you're not printing. Okay, now it's printing out my stuff. So yeah, this is the first thing that I do. I print out everybody's pack and slip. And really how I like to do it is I just put everybody pack and slip on the floor. So let me lower this so I can get y'all on the floor. Okay, so I put everybody's stuff on the ground. That way I can see everybody's stuff all at once. And then finally running out of business cards what i thought i was never gonna run out of these business cards y'all ever i had so many so i lay everybody's business cards down all right everybody's thank you cards y'all let me say something i had fedex print out my thank you cards and they did a horrible job i will never let fedex print out my thank you cards again and if anybody's wondering how i made these canva Y'all, Canva's so clutch. I have been using Canva to make my business cards and my thank you cards since maybe like a year or two. So I made a new business card to match this uh, thank you card. Um, these are my old business cards. So I'm going to have new business cards soon. I'm finally excited. But yeah, they FedEx did not print these out right. Like the colors did not come out right. Like it's just not cute. But I ordered like a hundred of these and I was not about to throw them in the trash so hmm, they gonna get these thank you cards okay so once I'm done with that then I start going through each order let me get the camera then I start going through each order um and like laying out what everybody ordered so this very first order she actually ordered Camille in a size nine and Georgia. Why can't I see this? Georgia in a size 10. Okay. Stay. You can't come in here. No, you cannot come in here. Ooh. Okay. She ordered Georgia in a size 10. This girl ordered Camille, the other color in a size nine, and Georgia in a size nine. Let me see. Here's Georgia in a size nine. And then she also ordered my Eve sandal in a size nine. So I need to find that. Yeah. And then she ordered Georgia in a size 10. She ordered Georgia in a seven and a half. And then Georgia in a size nine. And then she ordered Georgia in a size 11. So as you can see, as you can see, I have six orders and all six orders are of Georgia. <laughs> so there's that. So these four orders right here, um, these are going to be super easy to pack because I use pirate ship. And one thing I really like about using Pirate Ship is that Pirate Ship remembers like the weights and stuff of certain products. So if I have an order for a certain product and I go to find the rates for them, they already have like 
um, what, what is this called? Poly Miller. They already know what size Poly Miller I'm going to use. They already know how much it usually weighs. And that saves me a ton of time. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put these out so I can go ahead and print out the labels for them. So in Shopify, if you have pirate ship, um, buy cheaper postage, but pirate ship shows like the person's name, what they ordered. So all the people that I know have ordered one pair of shoes. I'm going to click them. Packing orders is really easy. Um, these are all going to go through UPS, which that is another thing. Okay, so I found out on Shopify that you cannot ship through UPS unless you have an upgraded Shopify account. So that is another reason why I really like pirate ship because Shopify will not allow you. So you can print your shipping labels through Shopify um, or you can print them through third party apps like pirate ship. Right. Um, but like I said, Shopify doesn't allow me to ship through UPS without having an upgraded Shopify account. And that's a problem for me because the upgraded Shopify accounts cost a lot. OK, I want to pay you my thirty dollars and I want to go about my business. OK. So pirate ship uh, and usually UPS, at least for me, um, UPS is usually cheaper. <laughs> so I like shipping through UPS because for a while it has been cheaper. USPS just lowered some of their rates. So um, sometimes USPS is cheaper, but UPS been hitting for me. So if you want to get more rates other than usps and you have shopify download pirate ship and you can ship through ups through there so let's pack these orders who's this first person this is tiffany this is her right here literally packing my orders for shoes is so easy because all i have to do is take the shoe and put it in the poly miller and put this uh this um what's this called this uh, sticker on here and I'm done. That's it. I don't have to do nothing fancy. <laughs> I don't have to think too much. Just, mm. It is 502. Ciao. I can't never be nowhere on time. One thing about me, <laughs> I'm gonna be late. That's okay, because my friend is late to everything too, so she'll understand. Anyway, <laughs> next person. I think her name is Adasha. I think that's her name. Just like that. She put her last name and then her first name, so I'm pretty sure her name is Kiera. Kiera. Here she go, right here. Ooh. And then the last person is Miss Tabitha. Like that. Slap it on there like that. Boom. So my last, oops. So my last two orders have multiple shoes in them, so they're gonna have to go in a box. Um, I think one 
believe these will for sure fit in this US penis box. Um, but where is my tape? Oh, there it is. Handy dandy tape. Can we just take the box together? And if you didn't know, you can get USPS boxes for free on USPS.com. Make an account and order free boxes off of there, okay? You do not have to buy them. Um, if you're somebody who sells like the same product, like, um, for me, I can't use flat rate boxes because my shoe boxes are too big to fit in there. But if you're somebody who uses, who makes, um, like who sells the same products, like your stuff is, you know, you don't have a lot of variety. Like if you just sell jewelry or something, um, flat rate boxes and stuff are really good for that because flat rate is a flat rate. Like if it fits in that box, it will ship for a certain amount. So I couldn't do that because, um, the flat rate boxes are a little bit lower than this, so that just didn't work out for me. Um, so yeah. This is how it fits. Usually I can fit literally just two pairs of shoes in here unless they order like sandals and stuff, but if somebody orders two pairs of shoes, I usually put it in here. So let's weigh this on my scale. Which is a lot. That's gonna cost a lot, y'all. This, this shipping people orders, y'all, cost a lot. Like, I always eat on people's websites sometimes. And I'm like, why does this cost this much? And you know, you wanna complain about how much uh, shipping costs? Let me tell y'all something. I would never, I would never complain about a company's shipping costs anymore. Because there have been times where I have, I charge y'all what, $10.99 for, um, sorry, I charge y'all $10.99 for, um, shipping to ship my shoes, right? There have been times where I've had to pay $20 to ship something to somebody, okay? Like, there have been times where I've had to ship something for $34. Like, I be going through it trying to ship some of these people orders sometimes. So, like, y'all. And I want to lower shipping costs for y'all, but I just can't. I cannot do it. I literally, physically cannot do it. So, like, this order right here, $13, $13.06 to be exact, to ship this box. Actually, no, it's going to be more than that because I have to ship it priority. $14.50. To ship it with USPS priority right now, right? That's how much I'm gonna have to pay <laughs> to ship this person's order. They only paid eleven dollars, but I'm having to pay fourteen fifty, which means what? I just lost money shipping this girl's order. So yeah, it cost me fourteen dollars to ship that girl's order, right? This person has three pairs of shoes, so who knows how much it's going to cost for me to ship it, but it's probably going to be around the same amount. So that's why my shipping cost is what it is. Like, it's either charge all $10.99 for shipping or lower shipping and add the cost, the extra cost to the cost of the product, which is what they tell a lot of people to do business wise, y'all, um, because it's basically like an illusion. Like, if you want to have the illusion that you have that you have cheap shipping, add whatever cost of shipping that you want to charge to your product. So what I mean by that is if I wanted to lower my shipping, my shipping used to be $6.99 when I first started, right? I was losing too much money trying to ship people's orders for $6.99. So I had to raise it to um, at least $10 to keep me from consistently losing money. But if I wanted to have my shipping be back to $6.99, what I would do is I would raise the cost of my products by three or four dollars, right? And drop my shipping down to $6.99. So technically you're still paying for that shipping. You're just paying for it in a different spot now. So 
So this one is a seven pound order. Let's see how much this one costs. And then I'll be done and I have to go. Let's see. Um, so this one can ship you UPS because I used my own box. $15.49, y'all. That's the cheapest with UPS. This is what I'm talking about. I only charge you $10.99 and I'm paying $16. I'm losing money. And when you got to do that over and over again, y'all, that money adds up. So don't ever say I didn't do nothing for y'all. Don't ever say I don't care about y'all and I don't love y'all, okay? Because I'm over here losing money just to ship y'all's orders, okay? Y'all, I'll be back with another video. Um, I'm getting ready to go eat with my friend real quick, so I have to go. But tune into my next video because my next video, I'm back selling my vendors list. And I'm going to make another video giving y'all one free vendor. And we're going to talk about my vendors list and the vendors that's on it, how much it costs and why, how many vendors you're going to get, all that good stuff. So if you're looking to start a shoe business, okay, instead of going to buying a vendors list from all these um, little companies that sell vendors lists, um, and they give you a whole bunch of vendors that they've never talked to or never worked with or never even freaking seen before, had a conversation with, nothing. Trust me, because all of the vendors that are on my vendors list, I have used in the past or use right now. So I'm basically selling you my vendors, okay? Period. So my vendors list are already on my website right now. If you want to go check those out and purchase, use code YouTube when you buy on my website. But yeah, um, I'll be back with, another, with that video here soon, y'all. But let me get out of here because my friend is blowing up my phone because it's 514 and I'm late. Okay, peace.